still on the hunt for your perfect email signature, need another free option? I got you covered. Today, we're gonna look at why stamp so you can get the most out of your emails with a professionally designed custom email signature. But first, if you're new here, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. Before we take a look at why a stamp, if this info resonates with you, or if you feel like it's helpful, give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. Okay, let's make an email signature that's not only easy to make, but is easy on your wallet as well. Since I do a lot of email signature videos, it's time to look at another option out there for you if you're still in need of an email signature. And so this one is called Wise Stamp. You can go to wisestamp.com to check it out. Now, the thing that I love the most, right, is that there is a free option. Of course, this is when you click on the pricing, it's pulling up what you would need for employees of 150, but obviously that's not what we need. If you're just an individual, you can try the solo free. You get one free email signature, you get some basic layouts and customization options, and the Y stamp branding will be on your signature though. So if you do want to upgrade in order to remove any of that branding or get some custom features, then you can pay $580 a month to get those features. So still reasonably priced and a great option if you are wanting to jazz up your signature a bit. So let's get started by creating a signature. So I clicked the for individuals. And so you're gonna get a preview right here of what your signature looks like. Looks like they do have a discount going on right now. If you want to upgrade to the pro version, I'm just gonna minimize that for now. If we wanna take a look at templates, it's starting off with the classic. So the classic option, it looks like it has a divider line here, and then there is a horizontal option where the divider line goes across. So you're kind of limited in the options that you have with the free tier, but that's quite all right. So let's just add in some details here. Okay, so I've just taken a moment to add in a few of the details and then you'll be able to see those populate on the right hand side. If we want to go ahead and add images, then we can add a photo of ourselves as long as it's at least a 100 by 100 pixels. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. So I uploaded a headshot that I have, which is in a circular shape. If you want to add social media, then you can go ahead and add in those links right there. So I've added in just a few links and if you need to add more, they have all of the social media icons that you can probably would ever need uh, available to you. So you can add those in. And then if we move to the design portion of it, so the design features in these, it looks to be like they are all pro features. So something to keep in mind. Uh, if you are interested in upgrading, then it looks like you have the ability to choose a few different fonts. You can choose a uh, color. You can adjust your font scale, your line spacing, the shape of your images, positioning. You'll have a little bit more control over like labels in the direction of things, the type of social media icons that you're using, and then decorative lines. They do have a few different apps that you could use to enhance your signature. Everything from an Instagram gallery, of course that is a pro feature, um, a green footer, a disclaimer. You tend to see these a lot. Uh, if you wanna do a signature, like a styled sign off or even a quote, you can add some of these things in. This would actually be, a call to action would be great. So if you are somebody who does have a calendar and you book a lot of meetings, then an online scheduler would probably make a lot of sense to include in your email signature or even a custom button. So because our options are a little limited with the free version, once we say, okay, I'm done, then it's going to ask you to sign up for an official account if you haven't done so already so that you can install your email signature. 
So once you are in your account, then it will ask you what platform that you're gonna use your signature with. So you do have several options, whether that be Outlook, if you're on a Mac like I am, you can use Mac Mail or even for your iPhone or Gmail account. Of course, Gmail is what I'm going to use. And then because I signed up with my Gmail account, I have it automatically assigned to this. If you do want to assign your signature to other emails, then you can use the Chrome extension that they have available to you. Now, this was automatic for me. So as soon as I went into my Gmail account and clicked on compose a message, I can see that my email is already in there. So installation was quite a breeze. Again, it is simple, but it does get the job done. So if you are looking to elevate your signature just a little bit, you can definitely do it for free or you can upgrade and get access to all the pro features that Wise Stamp has to offer. Let me know in the comments if you think this is something that will work for you. Would love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.